Hi everyone, so I am going to be uploading a weekly vlog this week but I wanted to pre-warn you before you watched it that it's a little bit up and down here and there. Basically it was my mum's anniversary of her birthday on Thursday so as you can guess I've been quite tearful up to that time. I've been a little bit within myself and everything um, so it was a bit here and there and everywhere basically but I will be back on track next week. I've got a lot coming on. Um, I'm very excited. Um, I'm also up, going to upload this week a Pri Primark Poundland haul for you guys too, which you all know I love to do. i also done a little bit of filming in Wilco's. I've done a bit of filming at Fendix Fishery in Norfolk where we have a caravan. So there's a bit of hit miss etc but i will be back on track i'm doing really well it was just that this week was going to be the hardest week and i knew that i knew it was going to be hard the first anniversary of my own mum so yeah i'm gonna go i just wanted to explain my weekly vlog to you guys and i hope you're all having an awesome time and you're looking forward to christmas like we are in this in the murphy household and yeah, so thank you for understanding. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Good morning. It is Monday. It's just gone quarter past seven. I'm up nice and early because I'm going to the post office to deliver our deliver post our parcels that I showed you yesterday and Dave sold something as well, so very exciting times. Um lucky for us we our post office is open from six o'clock in the morning to ten at night, so that is quite awesome so I thought get them done early because I've got to go Tesco shopping so we're going to drop Joe at college first and then go shopping because I need a little bit of shopping boys had an awesome time they did catch a carp a white ghost one I think they call it ghost carp so yeah they had an awesome time they got back about I think it's about five they got back so yeah so it's a new week I'm off to town on Thursday so I'm very excited because you never know what bargains you're going to get. Um, hopefully I'll get a few bargains today as well when I'm in Tesco, you never know. So today is mainly going to be eBay day again. I've got to keep it up. I've got to keep the uh, stuff on there because some bits are selling so quick and then other bits are selling so slow but you need to keep that flow going so yeah. So I'm nearly there so I'm going to say goodbye and I'll see you later. Little goldies, lots of little goldies. They only started for two, now they've got high, didn't they? They <laughs> love their goats. Oh, there's the alpacos, is it alpacos? Oh, they? <laughs> this used to be, what, well, this used to be um, a thing all the way along there, and now they've cleared all this out, and it's really pretty. This is Fendix Fishery. I haven't been up here for a long while. Not right up here, have we? No. And then there's some. There's one lake. And then there's two lakes. Look at all these electric things I've put in there. Oh, yeah. See, that ain't so bad, but I don't know what, how many fish is in that one. How pretty is Fendix Fishery? There's also over where that fence is over there, there is more lakes over that side. Our caravan is parked over there at the moment. Um, but the boys are coming back, so. It's so pretty. It's one of our favourite places, I know that. Well, you just ain't too bad there. That's what I said, it's not so steep. We're looking around to see if, where else Joe and Dave can fish because it's quite steep on the bank that they're in. And I think there's catfish in this one as well, aren't there? Yeah. Oh, someone else is going around looking. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the only ones. There's a car over there, look. <laughs> He's just coming no. down very slowly. And then they also have the animals, which we really like. I can't see the pony. Oh, there's the pony. Aww. It's a very pretty place. There's Fendix Fishery, if anyone's interested guys it's now coming up to three o'clock i'm in old clothes now because i'm going to go and clean the ferrets out i thought if i clean them out tonight and not tomorrow morning then um dave and i can get on with ebay the whole day 
I mean, even though the shirts don't take that long, um, it, you know, if I, we can get up and get out of them, which is what my motto is at the moment, and Dave said I even, I'm starting to be like, as soon as I'm up, that's it, I'm up, and I get on with it and stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to do the ferrets now, and then I'll save doing them tomorrow, um, so we can get on with eBay. Um, a few more. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that I sold something else today. I actually sold, like, a vintage man's, not a tie, it's a cavit, a cavit or something, and it's like a posh thing, and that's going abroad, actually. So, I am um, done that record delivery, because I... I like to make sure it gets to the places now. Um, but I got, I think I got, yeah, £7 for that. And I already made my money on the box that it came in anyway. So everything is a bonus now with that one. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go and do them ferrets. Oh, I've got my Canada's from Tesco's. If anyone wants cheap Canada's, Tesco's are doing them at the moment. Um, me and my son have got the Nortiza one. So originally £2 and they're now pound. But today's one wasn't half price, but I got a Milky Bar. My favourite. I love white chocolate. Absolutely adore white chocolate. Milky white chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. But Maltese comes very close as well to first, because I love Maltese as well. And you get a little tiny reindeer as well. How cute is that? So, yeah, I'm going to, like, say this is it for today, because I want to go and get on and do that before it gets too dark. Tomorrow will be eBay, and I'm not sure about what Wednesday's coming up has... Thursday I will be in town but I'm not sure if I'll be recording or not, I'm not sure really because that's also my, I'm trying to not get emotional when I talk about it, um, that's my mum's, or would have been my mum's birthday, she would have been 61, luckily I'm going out on that day so that will keep me a little bit occupied, I'm trying to keep smiling because she would not want me to be sad that's for sure, um, and it was, it's the first milestone, you know, the birthdays, the Christmases and everything is always the first milestone in it, so, but yeah, I do, I for, completely forgot it was the same day, but in a way I'm so pleased that I am doing something for that, and I've got plenty planned for Thursday, I need to go here, I need to go there, I'm Christmas shopping, I'm shopping for myself, so yeah, so I probably will record Thursday, it, you know, because I don't want to not record if that makes it you know i don't know anyway i'm still waiting on our present that's meant to be arriving for day for christmas i'm so excited but i can't show you guys because he watches my films he watches my videos so i can't show you but i just I, it's from me and joe but it's something that i know he'll like and it's something that me will it's one of my favorite things and that's all i can say but yeah Anyway, I'm going to go now, and I shall see you later, guys. Bye. it's saturday um i've already just pre-recorded a poundland haul for you guys which i will upload very later um i've just been down the post office because i sold something last night i'm really pleased at the moment because the stuff that i'm selling is stuff that i bought either really cheap or i've gone for big money for it which i don't usually do so i'm really, really excited i'm waiting on 
um, a one parcel that I sent yesterday because I don't really want to jinx it and say to you guys what it is but it's something I'm really pleased that I did um, I've been on my home alone so it was just me and Edith last night she's missing her daddy and her Joseph very much but the boys are off um, they went for the night away and then they're fishing all day today so they'll be back very later Hopefully going to a few car boot sales tomorrow, I don't know, it depends. Um, I'm going to walk her right now and I'm going to go down our local Tesco's. I'm going to have a nice walk down in the sunshine because it's quite warm out there. And I might go to, there's a Christmas fair, I'm not sure, I might go to it, I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a, a fantastic day and I'll catch up with you guys later. For a while, I'm watching Christmas movies, how exciting is that? Um, I didn't stay on to go and look at the Christmas fate at the church hall. I just, I was virtually would have had to wait in another hour and I really couldn't be bothered to be carrying my bags for so long because um, I did get a bit of shopping and I did go to the charity shop down there. I went to the Salvation Army charity shop, had a really good look and I did pick up a few bargains so I'm going to quickly show you right now. So, they had a bargain row there, which was 50p for all the items on the row, and I picked up this gorgeous Demonum's Classics. Um, it's a beautiful lace line with a fake beaded attachment to it, so it looks like a necklace. It's a creamy colour, which I really like, size 20. Um, originally they wanted 2 95 and I got that for 50p. Not sure if it's going to make much money. Um, I'm going to try like £8 for it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it would go through, like, I can have it on a, a very thin, like, letter thing. So the postage will be cheaper. But I will still have it as recorded delivery anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it's absolutely cute. So it's a size 20. I don't know if I said that already. But it's more like a size 18. So I'm going to put it 18 to 20. I always put the measurements in the description anyway. So the next one is from Bon. How do you say it? I never was able to say it. Bon Marché. Bon Marché. Is that how you say it? Size 12. Beautiful colours on it. I love the little tie at the front with the little bit of um, gold on it. The gold heavy bits on it. Um, originally it was two pound fifty, and that was on the sale rail for fifty p. I might try this one for six pound. Um, it has got elasticated waist. It's a real cute one. I really, really like it. And then the last two things I got was board games, which I researched before buying them. So I sneaked on my um, eBay when I was there. And I never usually do that. But I didn't want to buy the games if they weren't worth anything. So the first one was Connect 4. Now the only fortunate thing about this, I couldn't see if they were complete or not. So I had to wait till I got home. But they were cheap to buy, so I didn't mind just taking a punt on it, basically. So the first one's Connect 4 from 1975. This one's complete, and I only paid 150 Could get about 7 maybe £8 if I squeeze £8, plus postage. Um, it will be recorded delivery. So, yeah, that's all there. Really pleased with that. So that was 150 And then the other game which I've never ever heard of it's called Stay Alive this is from 1976 um, I could get about a tenner for this I checked it I only paid a pound for this one even the woman was quite shocked that I paid a pound but yeah that's another one that I picked up today so I'm really really pleased with my bargains I only paid for it for it all and yeah that's it so I've just been sitting here watching Christmas movies and the boys are still fishing they haven't caught anything unfortunately Dave has actually sold something while he's away because I always check on his eat right when he's gone so he was um he's a very happy bunny so hopefully the boys will be home soon and yeah so I'm going to say good night and see you guys tomorrow